Hi everyone, happy Friday. So I am here with my supply and coloring book haul for the month. I am recording this on Thursday. I have one book that is scheduled to be delivered either today or tomorrow that I'm going to tack on to the very end. Um, that should be the only one I'm waiting on other than the newest Kirby Rosanna's book. That won't be coming till next week, I believe. And so I will just tack that onto my April haul video. So let's go ahead and get started because I, I went not super crazy, but I did go a little crazy this month. Um, I think, as I've said, stress really when I get stressed, um, buying becomes more of my hobby than, um, than coloring. <laughs> and I've been really stressed the last few months with work and just everything going on in this, in the world, the dumpster fire that is the world currently. Hopefully next month, I think I've got it out of my system. So, uh, next month I should hopefully be back to my normal budget for the month. So, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to do the supplies first. And we're going to start out with something pretty simple. Um, these aren't necessarily coloring tools, but they are coloring related. This is um, a variety of these little silver binder rings. If I can get them open. It's like a hundred pack of them. They're all little binder rings that look like this. Basically like little key rings. And then you can... Though, you don't, these are a lot easier, <laughs> I say that as I'm struggling. These are a lot easier to open. Okay, well they're not super easy, but you don't have to put stuff on these like you would a key ring. So, I got these because I have a new plan for my swatching process. Typically, I've been doing my swatching in a book or keeping my swatches in a binder like this where I can just flip to them and I don't know I may still continue to do that as well who knows but I had seen this method a lot and I think I like it so much I'm just going to convert all my swatches to this um, on Etsy you can find these little swatch books you can either find blank ones or ones that are already um, that already have the color names in there and uh, some of them are grouped by color families and everything they're basically little like handheld swatches that you can print out mine of course aren't cut very evenly at all you cut them out you swatch your materials and then you can either laminate them or me I just stuck packing tape over these so um, to try them out I got the I went on Etsy and I'll link a couple stores down below there was one store in particular I was looking at but they are redoing their store so I was impatient and I found these at another store on there and I thought they were really good too but they come out on sheet you know they print out on sheets of paper and then you just cut them out in this format and this is for the derwent 72 pastel pencils which i'll show in a minute these are the color swatches and so basically you flip through and the swatches look like this i didn't do so great with the packing tape to start with and I did that in particular for these because I wanted to keep the pastel on the swatches and not have it rub off. Like I said, it's not perfect, but um, this was my first attempt at it. So, But what I really like about these is, um, especially with colored pencils and pastel pencils, my favorite way to use them is um, on pages already colored in marker. So basically... And I'll just you know, use the page from Tuesday, for example. If this was just marker, it's a whole lot easier to take this little, you know, swatch booklet and like put it up against the color and see what colors I want to use as opposed to trying to make a guess looking at a page of swatches to this. For how I use pastels and colored pencils in particular, I feel like this will be really handy. So, um... 
this worked out really well. I will be slowly converting all of my, um, definitely first my pencil swatches to this format. And I'm probably just going to keep them in a big shoebox or something. So then I can pull them out at that point. So, um, in talking about the pastel pencils, we will move to that, because that's probably one, this is definitely my, one of my biggest purchases of the month. So, in the middle of the month, and I'll put a card at the top here, I did a demo of a 12-pack of the Derwent pastel pencils over marker in a Alexandra Frances book. And I absolutely love the pastel pencils. Um, I've been enjoying using pastel over marker for shading and the pencils just give you like a whole lot more precision, which makes sense. And um, I don't have any other pastel pencil sets. These were AP certified, so I knew they were safe for the kitties and for me. So I ended up getting the full 72 set of the Derwents. And like I said, we already have the swatches, so I can kind of show you those. We have some yellows. Um, this is, looks like a skin tone here at the bottom. Fair amount of oranges and um, darker yellows. Reds. There's another skin tone. Pinks and kind of fuchsia burgundies getting into violet and purples. Really nice set of purples, I feel like. These match up probably very closely with uh, regular Derwent colored pencils. I believe they match up well with the, because I do have the Derwent watercolor pencils, and I believe the color names do match up. The colors match up to that. It's one thing I do like about the bigger brands is uh, if you buy different sets of things like watercolor pencils versus pastel pencils. A lot of times they will keep the same colors and naming conventions, so it's a lot easier to use them together, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So, really nice greens. Quite a few greens, so that is good. That pale olive actually I think would work really well um, for a skin tone, that and like the dark olive. Got a nice set of browns and tans. I think there's a really nice set of like earthy type tones in, in this pencil set. So, and then we have the grays and which is one of the things I really wanted um, with the pastel pencils, particular, particularly because there isn't a gray in the 12 set, so. There are your swatches, and like I said, if you have Dur any kind of Derwent pencils, they are probably very similar in terms of color names and shades. But this is just the 72 set. They didn't have it in the... I thought Derwent had 120 set, but I maybe I can't remember offhand. So this is what the pencils look like. I did get just a little 72 um, case for them and um, they work great. However, there were three pencils that either the mixture was off because they I had a really hard time with them trying to put them on the paper. Um, that's one of them here. Raspberry being one of them. And you can kind of see the difference between the cadmium red and the raspberry, how scratchy it looks. And it wasn't like blending or feeling pastel-y at all. So um, there were three that came like that. It was the raspberry, the soft violet was um, a little difficult, and the Prussian blue. So I went ahead and re I went ahead and got those pencils, reordered just those pencils, um, just to see. I didn't want to fool with customer support. Just to see if it is a manufacturing error in the pencil set that I got, or if these maybe the the color and the ability to turn these into pastels just make those make those pencils more difficult. Um, I guess I will find out when I get those. So keep that in mind. Um, usually I don't have bum pencils, but because these are specialty pencils, I'm you know you may run more of a chance of that. So. So I am looking forward to using these 
and they don't seem like they're colors that I will use a whole lot so I it'll take a few weeks for those to come here once I get them I'm sure I will do some picture here soon including those pencils and I'll let y'all know um, what happens when I get the new pencils if it's just a fluke or if it's just something with the makeup of that particular color all right the other big purchase I made so when I first started coloring my first summer I really splurged and got the first 72 set of the Copic sketch markers it's like set A. Then I also got the, um, like a skin tone set to go with it, which there were a couple duplicates, but not too many. Um, and I've had these probably almost four years and um, they are working really well. And um, they're expensive. And when I first started, I, I and Part of it's probably I haven't used them very much, but they have a lot of them still work just as great as they did the day I bought them, which I love seeing in terms of longevity on markers. Um, the other thing I'm realizing is I heard that Prismacolor is going to stop selling their markers open stock, so you won't, at least at um, like Blick Studio and stuff, you. Uh, Dick Blake, you won't be able to like go buy a poppy red or as I just mentioned to use the about Spanish orange You'll have to buy marker sets. You won't be able to buy them individually and that's a pretty big deal to me because um, I Like the Prisma colors a lot and I was gonna look into getting the brush and fine tip or brush and chisel whatever it is and um, That that decisions out the window I don't want to spend extra money on the new Arteza markers right now and um, I run into a problem where I do a lot of coloring with like an orange or something and and as you guys probably can agree with me on um, it's frustrating when certain sets only have a few colors of a certain shade and then you run out of those and then you're like, okay, well, I have all these markers. Orange is one of those for me. Orange and light blue seem to be two that I run out of frequently in my marker sets. And then I have to go to my other marker sets to fill those in. And then, um, and, and greens too. And uh, eventually I run to the point where I'm going to run out of orange and everything. And I'm not going to have any oranges, but I'm going to still have a bunch of markers left. So I decided probably the best thing for me to do in terms of also environmentally friendly because buying all these different plastic markers, it just feels like it is, I, I'm not super granola environmental type, but I also, it makes me uncomfortable the thought of just continuously buying all this plastic and putting extra plastic into the, into the world because we do not need that that much so instead i'm going to um, i'm still going to buy small sets like the wise brands and probably cali arts i'm having trouble with my sprees drying out so i'm not happy with my sprees um saying all this to say that i'm investing in copic refills so while i i don't really count refills towards my budget because i'm just refilling or replacing stuff I already have um, we're still gonna count it this month I got it on Blick Studio and basically I did a one-half batch of all the markers I have in turn and purchased refills for all of them and then I will probably do the other half either next month or May um, to go ahead and round it up and these are what the new Copic ink refills look like um, the previous ones looked like where to go where to go I thought I had it just sitting in here and maybe I don't I had one it was like a sand or something yeah I don't know where I put it it was more of a weird square shape one and these look a little smaller you don't get quite as many refills but you still get I think like five or six in here and um, so yeah that's what I did I just went through the list on Blick studio and went ahead and um, looked at the colors that were part of my set and went ahead and got roughly half of them 
So um, that's what all is in here right now. You can imagine this was pretty pricey. And, uh, but I think long term this will be super helpful because if I need, especially if I need like my oranges or my light blues, I can consistently just use my Copics and I don't have to worry about running out of marker right in the middle of it or using two different types of colors or something like that. So um, I'm definitely going to, I think over time, I've really grown to enjoy using the Copics and considering how I kind of go on and off markers in terms of, you know, if I keep markers too long, they'll dry out. So the Copics seem to be longer lasting and overall this might be financially the better, financially and environmentally the best choice for me right now. Because I, I've been using markers some the last few months, but not as much as I used to. And as I've been trying to get into other stuff. All right. Said all that, say that. Um, I just sharing my experience is all. I did pick up the Pebbles Classic Chalks. That's 30 basic bright shades. You saw me do these in the demo Tuesday. Which if I haven't already linked, I will link now. Um... These show up with this little tool to use. And then these little, I can't, I don't know what to call them. I call them cotton balls. They're not your standard cotton balls, but I mean, I don't know what else to call these things. Um, and I use these in Tuesday's picture. I, um, I am going to, it's on my schedule in the community tab, do a overall thoughts on using pastels and coloring and basically kind of do a summary of the four demos that I'm doing this month and just talk a little bit about each one, which ones I like the most, which ones I like the least, things like that. Um, I have the pan pastels to do next week, but so far these are probably my least favorite just because they're really dry and it seemed like I had to use a lot more of them and work at it a lot more to get the shaded color that I wanted. So, um, and these little balls are driving me crazy because they were just flying all over the place and it was hard to keep them in their little, their little uh, nooks here and just, yeah. But I like them, and I mean, I'll use them probably more for backgrounds than I will shading. Um, with shading, I'll probably stick more with the pastel pencils, but these will be excellent to give me more of a variety in background colors. So there is that. And as I mentioned in Tuesday's video, and I mentioned here, these are not AP certified as far as I know. Um, so you may want to look into that and decide, you know, that may not matter to you, but just to put that out there. So, all right. That's why I'll use them some and I'll use them mostly for backgrounds, but I probably won't use those a ton. And they were also a little dustier than the Jane Davenport um, palette pastels that were like that. So just, just as a note on that. Speaking of pan pastels, I got this. Oh, that's weird. It's like some rubber cement on the top of it. So I already had these pan pastels and I will be demoing these next Tuesday in Country Chibis, which I'll be showing y'all here in a few minutes is one of my new books this month. This is the portrait set of 20. Is that right? Yeah. And I already had these. I hadn't used them. As you can tell, they are barely used, but I can't stand having to screw these can all be kind of screwed together and that's how they they come in the little set I hate having to screw and unscrew them so I spent I think it was like 10 or 14 on this plastic tray to put them in because it was a 20 set they fit perfect so um, looks a lot nicer now I can just pull this cover off and use them so um, I will be curious how these go next week I think Pro my suspicion is that these and my pastel pencils will be my go-to for like actual full-on book shading but then for like backgrounds and stuff I probably will will use the pan pastel uh, like the pebbles chalks and the Jane Davenport's a little more with my pastels stuff I also got these little plastic cutting mats I'm going to try to work on these when I'm doing 
any sort of pastel work and probably try to just tap the book every now and then or I started I got this big brush thinking I was going to use the pastels for that but then I realized whoops now I'm just spreading it all over the page so I'm going to save the big brush for colored pencils um, but I'm going to try to capture as much of the pastel dust as I can on these mats and work on them so that way I can use a wet cloth to wipe them up and it's just less I'm not going to try to blow on the pages as much just try to limit how much overall dust I have in the air because it is allergy season right now and I don't need anything extra in uh, clogging up my nose right now so so I'll put a link to those mats I found um, I mean I think they're useful for a lot of things so and finally I kept saying I was gonna go try to use up the little water-based marker set I had more before I purchased this but again I'm running out of specific colors because it's a small set and I'm getting irritated with it so I went ahead and splurged for this this is the Ohuhu 120 I believe um, water-based marker set I love using water-based markers in um, the Belba family books like the little square mosaic books I love using them in there and they're just so bright and pretty and I also want to play with these and do some testing in double-sided books so using these as a base layer instead of watercolors but I want to get a little more familiar with comfortable with using watercolors in double-sided books and then these will be the next thing I really test so you get this really nice uh, case where they can all flip out like this now I think some people had issue because a lot of these colors are very similar when you swatch them out and I haven't swatched them yet um, they do have numbers which is very nice um, but a lot of these co colors are very similar tip wise like these two look almost exactly the same um, these two look very close to each other these two look very close to each other but you know what I actually kind of dig that because when I'm coloring with these and I run out of a color I actually have other similar colors or what looks to be almost the exact same shade to fall back on so the way I use these I don't need a ton of color variety I just need to where this set will last me for a while because I mostly use this in color by numbers right now so if I do end up using like water-based markers for double-sided pages I might look more into using things like Tombow's um, which I haven't touched in forever and a day but those will be more for non color by number these are more my workhorses for color by numbers so and I, I thought these were a pretty decent price for the amount so all right that is supplies this is a long video y'all should have known this was coming <laughs> shocking no one yeah what's really gonna be fun is putting the description together while this is rendering all right so next up we have coloring books I believe that's everything that I can think of yeah no I didn't get any more paints this month there's not been any new shimmer paints released I am kind of looking so the delusions paint like this they I love the shimmer paints but they have a limited number of colors in those then they have the little pastel and these are just simply acrylic paint um, I did get the pastel set well they do have just regular acrylic paint like this in different colors and there's a where they release the new distress ink colors they also release them in the paints like this um, I don't know if they're the delusions brand or not but um, I'm thinking about trying those but that might be what I get next month one or two of those to try because this paint has worked so well for me as being a one layer paint and while you get a lot you get about half the amount you would in like a folk art bottle for the price if you don't have to use multiple layers on it it's really kind of the same price if you think about it and I'm all about efficiency when I color so um, unless I needed the thin layers for some reason I much prefer just having to do the one layer and call it a day so I might get some of those next month and play around with those but I have so many acrylic paint 
so many acrylic paints I almost want to wait and use some of what I have I can't get these set up I don't know what I'm doing I'm just being crazy okay books speaking of new releases we had Lulu Mayo's A Million Kawaii Cuties. This is the U.S. release. The U.K. version ha is called A Million Sweet Things or something like that. Same looking cover. It's just a different title. And um, I do have a full flip through. If I have a flip through of these, which I should for all these, I will try to at least link a couple times up in the little card that pops up at the top right of the video. So you guys can go look at the full flip through. But this is very similar to her previous books. It is very cute. I still think her Magical Creatures one is my favorite so far. But this one's a good one too. There's that one. Camellia Angelkova came out with 50. Hang on a minute. There we go. 50 Easter miniatures at the start of the month. I did grab that. I'm trying to do my Jungle Miniatures book and finish it. And I kind of fell off the wagon this month because I got focused on the Alexandra Frenzies books. But next month is going to be the alphabet color D and E, just as a heads up. Because while you can find plenty of D authors, themes, titles, whatnot, there may not be as many of the E's. Plus, I figure April's a good month for Easter related stuff. So, you will see me definitely color in this, if not this month, uh, next month. We have Cat Life by Coco Wyo, which is a fairly new release for them. I have not gotten to color as many cat pictures. I mean, I expected you guys were going to see, like, just nothing but cat pictures this month. And I just have not had time and I, not the energy. And it's really been a shame. I like this book okay. I feel like the art could have been done a little better. But there are still a number of pictures in here that I think are super cute. So, Because with this being the C month, you would think cats would have been all over the place for me this month. And that was the plan. That was the plan. But there's a lot of holiday ones in here. Halloween and Christmas, if you like holiday-related coloring. Joshua Dunbar is now also self-publishing like Alexander Frenzies and he has the new easy coloring book out which I believe is like this is this is extra big 65 images in here in his style I love this is this no this is one of his coming books so he does have other books coming guys and I'm sure I will be purchasing each of these. <laughs> Animal Mandala's Country Spring and Easy Country. So I will keep an eye out for those and let you know. But, oh, is that not the cutest picture? He does his landscapes and then his other pictures together. Oh, Sid's mad. I'm not paying enough attention to her. So, yep, some really simple images. This is a good large print coloring book if um, you have eye issues or you just prefer more of a large print where you, it, it's a little more simple, but you still have some light shading and stuff in here. I think this is a great book. Plus, you have, this gives you just a really neat little variety of things to color. Also, from Alexander Franzis, or Franzis, we have Cute and Hoppy, that was also released this month. I don't know what that is. Pastel, perhaps. As y'all have seen in my demos this month, I have been coloring pretty much consistently in her books because of the Cute and series, which works really well for the color along this month. Plus, all my demos I've been wanting to try on Amazon Paper. 
And so you guys will also get a sneak peek of some of the finished pictures for the end of the month if you haven't already seen them on Instagram or here. And of course these are adorable as always. Oh gosh, I love the little hedgehog. That hedgehog is going to be like pink or purple or something fun. I just, I can already tell. I'm normally not a big Easter fan, but I collected a nice set of Easter books this year. So this was the one I did with the 12 pack of pastel pencils with a marker underneath and it just I foresee this being a one of my favorite ways to color honestly with the pastel over the marker it gives me a lot more flexibility to blend and doesn't feel as tedious as colored coloring pencil colored pencils coloring pencils what in the world colored pencils though I will still use my colored pencils I'm not giving those away but it will just give me another option all right stained glass wildlife by Sach and Sach Diva this is a color by number yes I said I wasn't going to get my color by numbers we're going to be limited to new artists or if I finish a page from or a book of someone's I can purchase another one but I couldn't resist this one in fact, this might be my favorite stained glass book he has. So this will probably be the one I work to complete. I take that back. I really like the Halloween one. But I've already done one in here. And of course it was the cheetah. And I, he turned out great. Another one from Alexander Franzese. This was in no particular order. Country Chibis. You will be seeing me color in this next Tuesday with the pan pastels. A little different than some of her others just because they're chibis and and mostly people as opposed to just characters and animals but they are very adorable I've not picked out my picture yet that might be a good one though because I do have that really nice red in the pan pastels though I like this picture too she does have some that have a really nice background. I'll probably just stick to one with a small like that just for, um, or maybe this one for, uh, because they'll be very similar type pictures, basically. So, very cute. Same situation here. I did get the Christmas Owls Circulism art book, but I was like, that's a holiday themed one. And then here's nature. I really love nature and wildlife books. And so I saw this one and I was like, all right, I guess I'll get another one of theirs. Very cool. Oh, I don't even know what that is. There's one I've done in there. You can see this little cardinal. I saw a car really pretty cardinal when I was out yesterday feeding the Not My Cats. They always, I, I've heard a lot of people say that cardinals are, are like spirits from people from your, that have passed away or I, I would even go as far as any, any creature or person that's passed away that you have a connection with. So I wonder who that was yesterday out there watching me fill the cat food bowls. <laughs> I wonder who that was. We always joke ghost Maggie's in the house. Easter Ceramic Tiles by Prachi Dewan Sachdeva. I did have one other book of hers, but I did not have a book in the Ceramic Tiles series. And I really, while I don't like the very first one that came out, how it looks, I do really enjoy the holiday ones that she has. I just, it's something about the colors. It's just real pretty. It's real bright. This is a shorter, a smaller book. So these are a lot faster images to complete. And they're just very cute. And yes, I've done one in here too. There's my little chick. So, very cute. 
I did download two digital books from Etsy this month. I have the Dragons Assorted book by Elizabeth Rose Best. I found this, um, I happened to just find this randomly when I, you know how it goes, and random times on Etsy are dangerous. But I thought this would be a great gift for my friend Tammy, who, by the way, um, is turning 50. I believe her birthday is Sunday, if I'm not mistaken. I think she said the 27th. So um, regardless, it is towards the end of this month. So if you can, go over to Tammy Colors 2 and wish her a happy birthday. She loves dragons. And these were cute and just different than a lot of the other stuff I've seen. So... Then I also got from Scott Howden, Coloring Fantasy 3. Again, I'm not big on coloring people all that often, but when you say fantasy people, I feel a lot more comfortable that I can use like non-conventional skin tones. And I love this one with the fox. The ones where she's whatever person this is is holding an animal I think are my favorite ones in the book like the one with the fox is very cute I love this one where she's on the dinosaur just looking all fierce with that volcano in the background and I'll just flip through this all the way if I don't watch myself so <laughs> anyway I have I, I would like to purchase more digital art on Etsy. I have to show you all the cat one because that's just so fun. Um, I want to start purchasing more digital art on Etsy, um, especially now that I have these two stored in. But I'm going to have to be, that, that I have to be careful with that because I could easily fall down a rabbit hole. I'm sure I could pick up like half a dozen books very quickly if I'm not careful. And finally, as you guys saw in my flip through yesterday, I have, well not finally, I'm sorry. Um, there'll be one more book after this. Um, that's coming hopefully today or tomorrow before I publish this video. I did a flip through of this one. I just got it from, it was an Etsy purchase. This is the newest release from Erie. It is, I don't know what the exact translation is because everybody, ha what is going on with the cover? Oh my word. I don't know what's going on with the cover right now is not being my friend there we go it is something like world legend magical and fairy journey basically she's traveling to a mag she's traveling through a fairy and magical world and i this may be my favorite of her books just because of the fantasy element to it of course and she's got some cats in here as always and they were adorable so there is that one all right just a quick little note to round this video up um i thought i was getting my the latest book from maria trolley in the mail today it is actually friday and it did not show up it is running late I hope <laughs> nothing happened to it but um yeah so I just didn't want to end on you know just randomly end like that and so I wanted to stick this on the end I will probably not do a live stream this weekend I had another big project dropped on me on Wednesday and it's just been a rough couple days I will probably just do a color and chat on Sunday and the way things are looking I have a page I really really want to do but it may just be a simple color by number page if the way things are so who knows um, but you will get something on Sunday <laughs> some type of color in chat I'm hoping I can do a live stream maybe about two weeks from now um, I'm hoping to take some vacation time that week and so I should be in a good mindset to do a live stream next Tuesday I will be doing pan pastels in this book the country chibis. I don't know which page yet. Just going to have to see what strikes my fancy. Um, next Friday will be my completed pages for March. Um, it is not going to be very many. I can tell you that. 
And, um, yeah, I can't remember what I said I was going to do on Sunday. It, you just check the community tab. It's on there. <laughs> so, oh, and the newest Kirby Rosanna is once I get that next week, Mythical, Mythic World or something like that, um, I'll do a new release flip through that day. I just haven't put it on the calendar for sure because I don't know which day I'll get it. So, hope you guys have a good weekend and I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.